Hey guys and welcome back to North Sea Angling. Today we're going to be going out just doing a bit of foraging. I am going to take a couple of rods with me and hopefully wet a line. Might as well while I'm there. So the plan is basically go down there, try to dig a few lugs, maybe a few maddies, just chuck them on the end of a two hook flapper, see how we get on. I'm not expecting to catch anything because it's a bit early in the season for bass yet. But you never know what's about. Uh, the main idea is to go out, hopefully catch some oysters, do a little catch and cook and just hopefully produce some content for you guys. Cheers. Moonlight shimmers off golden highlights And the smell of the sea lingers in your boats Lying down on deep and shores The thread of electrical storms you found Kind of an interesting find. Well, I don't know if you can really get a, a sense of appreciation of scale or size, but it's an absolutely massive eel. Well, for a, well, I'm assuming here will be a European silver eel. This was an absolutely monstrous eel for the river. Tell someone what the log worm. See if we can dig him out. And then you have the worm. Sharing songs on YouTube 3 a.m. You like Tom Waits and I like Billy Holland. Your grace and beauty fell my sky. What I'm doing is feeding the worm. Feeding the hook through the worm. Pushing it up over the eyelet. Just worry about that, the hook point showing. Just that side. Similar on the other one. It's a two, foot, two hook clapper. Beautiful little oyster. I'll do for the catch and cook. A much bigger oyster. Oh, it just looks like a rock because of the mud. Hang on, let me clean it. Beautiful. Another little oyster. This catch and cook's going to be lovely. These oysters just keep coming and coming. Oyster. Cockles, clams. Perfect. Getting a nice little pile of oysters now. Right guys, you'll have to forgive me. I'd usually give much more of a panoramic to show you the scenery, but because I'm collecting oysters, I don't really want to give away the exact location because I don't want the place getting hammered. Usually the water carries a lot better, but if you can just see opening beneath the water, as soon as I grab it, shut. But there's another oyster there. It's a very easy way to find them, just wade around in the shallows. And in between their shells, they'll just open slightly as they're filter feeding. And as soon as you go and touch them, they'll shut. So I'm gonna show you guys anyway. What I'm doing for the clams, you get loads of these little guys, harbour ragworm. Smaller cousin of the king ragworm that you usually see in bait shops otherwise known as maddies as well. Great bait for the bass in the summer. 
out of this river. Back you go. Might come back to you another time, little buddy. Alright, guys, I've got a nice haul of oysters. Oh, there's a nice cockle there. But I, I don't think I have enough cockles to make a meal out of it. I think I'm just going to stick to the oysters. Load of oysters. That'll do me well. I'm gonna put some of these back though. So I've got more than I need. Lovely specimen that one. big to be fair. Sometimes I find uh, the bigger ones aren't actually quite as tasty. So what I might do is I might put that one back. And keep that one instead. Just for a little bit of fun, last time I was at this point, I caught this cracking oyster. It was five and a half pounds, or over five and a half pounds, and over seven and a half inches long. I don't know what kind of local records are or British records, but if anyone has any information on how I can find out what they are, please get in touch and let me know because I'd be quite curious to find out. Firing up 500 horses per the dusty sunglass road. Only one thing left for me to do. The radio. They are dancing, dancing. Mmm, that's bloody good. Well, oh. right guys, it's pretty much turned out as expected. Um, didn't get any fish. Uh, but managed to find some oysters that I managed to bring home doing catch and cook. Um, I did forget to show it in this video as well, guys, but if you are going to eat oysters out the river, make sure you always purge them, which is cleaning them in salt water first and letting them expel all the grit and nastiness that they've taken in through filter feeding. Anyways, thanks for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed. Only a small one with a bit of foraging. Until next time.